Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, you're a real one. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Ada. Hope everyone is doing good and lovely on this fine day, night, whenever you're watching this. So basically in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how, well not even how, I'm going to be showing you guys some books. Maybe you're a beginner reader or maybe you haven't read in a while like me. I'm going to put you on to a few books. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all know I'd be sharing book recommendations on my Instagram story. So make sure you guys are going ahead and following me on my Instagram so you won't miss out on all the gems I be dropping. The first book that I'm going to go ahead and start off with is one of my favorites and it is called you are born in original, don't die a copy. This is one of the first books that I got into like getting back into reading. And basically this book is all, uh, like it's such an easy read, first of all. It talks a lot about God and the Bible in a way where it's motivational and inspirational. So when I first started my business, I was dealing with lack of motivation, lack of inspiration. I was dealing with imposter syndrome. And somebody on YouTube actually recommended this book and I went ahead and picked it up. So I'm going to go ahead and read a part of this book and this is Nugget 31 and Nugget 31 is basically turn into stepping stones the bricks others throw at you and that's a word okay so it says all great ideas create conflict in other words your destiny creates challenges and criticism whoever criticizes to you will criticize about you if someone belittles you he is only trying to cut you down to his size you can always tell a failure by the way he criticizes success those who can do and those who can't criticize those who complain about the way the ball bounces are often the ones who dropped it. Ooh! Small minds are the first to condemn great ideas. Hold on! If people talk negatively about you, live so that no one will believe them. Fear of criticism is a kiss of death in the courtship of achievement. Oh! If you are afraid of criticism, you'll die doing nothing. A successful man is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that others throw at you. And then at the at the bottom it says, criticism is a compliment when you're following God's plan. That should, that little part right there that I just read should be motivation, should inspire you to get this book because this book is full of gems, full of nuggets, and I definitely recommend it. Let's go ahead and get into the next book. The next book I have here is called The Gucci Mane Guide to Greatness. And I just want to say, I love this book. Like my friend Marissa actually gave me this book. Well, she let me borrow it, but I might keep it, okay? But this book I love because it's so, number one, it's so aesthetically pleasing. So I love the gold and on the back it has like his pictures. And before I even get into what the book is, I want to like talk about the, it, it got a whole bunch of pictures. And I'm a visual person, so the pictures, I, I just love the pictures. But basically, this kind of reminds me of this one with the nuggets. He be dropping gems too, it's kind of like the same format. So he talks a lot about mindset, entrepreneurship, um, your worth ethic, confidence. Something that I love about this book is the fact that um, it, it's kind of like he, he wrote it. I know like, um, I think Soreen Baker, which is the author that wrote it, but he did such a great job when it comes to really translating the language of Gucci Mane. So when you read this book, it's kind of like Gucci Mane is talking to you. It's an easy read. It's very digestible. You can actually learn stuff. It's very motivational. You need a pick me up. This is a perfect book. I'm telling you, like he drops a lot of gems. So I just want to go ahead and read like a part. So this one let me just take off the damn cover because this should be a annoying <laughs> i'm just going to go ahead and read this section right here and it says stop underestimating yourself since i was a child i've been falling down and getting back up i was practicing resilience my whole life when you're down it's easy to start underestimating yourself to let self-doubt creep in to look at other people and compare yourself but uh-uh stop if they do it you can too that's how i feel about myself he said, I knew if I dedicated myself to being a major player in rap, I would. I knew that if I dedicated myself to losing weight and staying in shape, I would. But I had many doubts along the way, of course. 
And there's another part that says, I used to underestimate myself and overestimate my opponent, my enemy, my rival. It's because you don't know them. That makes it easier to project something positive onto them. So this is definitely a good read, an easy read. Thank you, Marissa, for putting me onto this book. And now I'm putting you on, so. So the next book that I have right here, ooh, I'm excited for this one. This one is called Simple Mathematics, A Basic Guide to Being the Best Version of Yourself by Gregory, I could never say your name, I can never say the last name, but Gregory B. I actually interviewed him for the podcast, so stay tuned for that interview. We talked all about mental health. Gregory is awesome. He is a black author and artist from Chicago, and I basically found him on Instagram, but this is an amazing book. I'm just going to go ahead and do a flip through really quickly, and it's a lot of pictures. Okay, so I found the page that I want to go ahead and read. So this says, exercise faith, and it says, Overthinking can be pretty exhausting, don't get me wrong. Overthinking is entirely human and we are wired to seek solutions to problems. But we gotta be able to identify when we are spinning our mental wheels for nothing. Worrying doesn't help or solve anything. In fact, it hurts us. You can get caught up about tomorrow just as much as you can get caught up in yesterday. Worrying only brings tomorrow's or yesterday's problems to the present day. Let go of the results and have faith and trust that things will be okay. There are too many variables in life to try to calculate every single second of it. But at an extreme level, overthinking can literally shut you down and cause severe anxiety. That's a fact. So be careful, breathe calmly, get some exercise, write out your thoughts and start looking into simply having faith and trusting that the universe will work itself out. Step one, breathe. Step two, get it out. So journaling or, you know, praying it out. So I just love this book. Go ahead and support a black artist and author. And yeah, good job, Gregory. Your shit is lit. All right, so we're gonna get into the next book. The next book we have here is Becoming. This is not an easy book. This one is not the book that got a whole bunch of pictures and stuff. It do got pictures, but it's not a lot of them. It's a lot of words and it's very, very thick, but it's not even that thick. It's actually pretty easy, but this is my current read. It's so cool to get a perspective of someone that has made it, someone that is successful. It's motivational. You learn a lot. It's a lot of words that I don't know in this book, like the vocabulary, but something that I do is, let me show y'all. This is my bookmark, me and my dad, oh my God. But this is what I do. So when I don't know a word, I'll underline it and then Google it and put the synonyms of the word. So here's like a few other examples of what I do. I underline the word and then put the definition. I'm actually not finished with this book yet, but so far I've learned that she was a lawyer. I even know I thought she was just the first lady. She also talks about her experience in the White House and how she had to adjust to the, that lifestyle. I definitely appreciate her transparency and honesty when it came to this. She also talks about how she met Obama. She basically just talks about her upbringing and how she was born and raised in Southside Chicago. It's very interesting, very motivational to see somebody that came from zero and made it to where they are today. I'm going to go ahead and read um, Read a section. Let me go ahead and find a page. So this the one right here. Everyone seemed to fit in except for me. I look back at the discomfort of the moment now and recognize the more universal challenge of squaring who you are with where you come from and where you want to go. I also realized that I was a long way from still finding my voice. I definitely resonated with that because I feel like I'm currently in that season where I know who I am, but then I don't know who I am, but then I, I know what I see for myself, but I know I'm still in the process of finding my own voice, finding my style. So I definitely resonated with that. There's another one that I wanna read here. So it says, I had peers who were always a step or two ahead of me, whose achievements seem effortless, but I try not to let that get to me. I was beginning to understand that if I put in the extra hours of studying, I could often close that gap. And I definitely resonated with that. And I literally put trust your own process and putting in the work. So like I said, this is a very motivational book. I definitely recommend it. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Okay, sis, so small on point. So those are four of the books that I would definitely recommend for beginners. They're easy reads. 
they're not that complicated you'll learn something you'll be motivated you'll be inspired but before i go ahead and end the video i want to leave you guys with some gems okay so i am not a person that always enjoyed reading like i said i went so long without reading but something that definitely helped me is to take the time out to read we all say that we're busy oh my god we're busy i don't, I don't got time to do that i don't got time you have time for whatever it is that you set your mind to. So something that definitely helped me and something that I do on a daily basis even now is, well, when I was first starting, because now I read like an hour to two hours. So I actually got this tip from Jordan Welch. I'm gonna go ahead and link the video down in the description box. But he says to put a timer for 15 minutes. I say 30 minutes, because 15 minutes, come on. 15 minutes is nothing, okay? That's a piece of cake. So 30 minutes, challenge yourself. Use your timer on your iPhone. So when you do that, you're literally going to see the 30 minutes turn into 35, to then 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, boom, two hours, three hours, and boom, now you finish the whole book, okay? So that is a tip that I leave for you guys is to make time for reading. Reading is definitely something that definitely allows me to be present in the moment and not on my phone, not on the screen and actually learn things. It'll definitely help you out, especially if you're on the path to becoming a better version of yourself on this self-improvement, self-development, mental health, entrepreneurship journey. If you watch all the way through, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below some book recommendations that you guys have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you're gonna pick up one or two of these books. If you do pick it up, make sure to go ahead, take a picture, put it on your story and tag me. I would love to like hear you guys' thoughts on these books. Maybe you like them, maybe you don't like them, let me know. Like, we're literally in like the season of growth where I'm just going ahead and experimenting and having fun and doing content that I'm passionate about. So thank you guys so much for joining me on my journey and for watching all the way through. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this motivational gem, this motivational word that's on my mind right now. And that is, y'all don't mind my family, <laughs> but that is that we all start from somewhere. We all start not knowing shit. We really don't know what we're doing. So if there's something that you always wanted to do, if there's something or a career path that you wanna get into, life is too short to not do it. So just do it. We all start from zero. We all start not knowing nothing. And in fact, we still don't know what the hell we're doing. Okay, we just pretend we do. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys in the next video. Ada out.